welcome back to my chakra series. This is Mean Jean 1963. And as always, I appreciate our time together. I appreciate you following us through this journey. This is the fifth video, and there's been homework in between. They're all on the YouTube channel, should be all in order for you so you can follow it through. If this is your first time clicking in, I strongly suggest you go back and watch the prior videos, starting with a root so you can be right up to where we are today. So let's get started. The throat chakra is um, this amazing chakra that has absolutely everything to do with communication. And not just communication in how I am talking to you right now, it has also everything to do with how I perceive and how I hear things and what I'm being told and how it affects me, okay? So it's out and in. And not just communication on talking, we're talking all communication. How we show up and answer our phone, how we write letters, how we correspond with our boss, how we get what we need, can we ask for what we want, all that is communication, okay? If we didn't have the ability to express ourselves, um, this chakra would be completely blocked. So. As I'd like to start most of these videos talking about when it is in perfect balance, um, I just want to give you a ground name or a starting point for this chakra by, by saying this one point to you. This chakra is not who you are. It is how you communicate who you are to others, how you show up. And I'm putting up a funny video about how we show up and It'll be attached to this one, so more to come on that energy in a second. So let's get going. When this throat chakra is perfectly in alignment, you would resonate with everything around you. You would have full voice, clear communication, as we mentioned before, and not just communication out with others, but communication coming back in too, and with ourselves. If you woke up and started to feel um, tired one day, you know, would you listen to your inner voice, say you, you need to take a little break or to tell somebody you can't do something because you're tired? That would be communication with inner self. What do you physically need and are you paying attention to that? So communication on all aspects. Um, its name is Vashuda. And its name means purification. We're going to talk about what purification means in a minute. So if this chakra is balanced, you would be a good listener. You would live life creatively. And I love that. I actually thought the second chakra had more to do with being creative. Um, and it turns out it's not. It's actually the throat chakra. It's how we express. If you sing, if you can sing, God bless you if you can sing. Um, this is a strong throat chakra, okay? So if you're living your life creatively and you're expressing yourself in a creative way, again, this chakra would be perfectly balanced for you, so lucky you. If you, um, symbolic thinking, we're going to hear more about that. I'm going to put up a definition. If you think about symbolic thinking, it would be putting pictures to what you're thinking. Um, that'll make sense more in a little bit of time here. Um, good timing, good rhythm, and that's really it. Well, there's so much more, but that's it for when it's perfectly open and in balance. If it was overactive, if your chakra is overactive in any way, you would be talking maybe inappropriately, or talking too much, or being chatty saying, um, telling a story but giving all the details. If you lose your audience halfway through most of your good stories, um, that would be a sign of an overactive throat chakra. Way too much detail can, can kill the messenger. Or as they say, little sidebars, that's somebody who has an overactive throat chakra. Um, if you are, oh, I can't stand the fact that I have to wear glasses to see print this big. Anyway, if you're gossiping, if you stutter, difficulty being silent, excessive loudness, I mean the pitch of someone's voice. I'm actually talking loud right now. You can hear it in my voice just so my camera can pick it up. I don't have my mic on today. But I've been in a room with people sometimes where they're, they actually, my ears are ringing like I was at a concert. 
they talk so loud. And I don't know about you, but when someone's screaming at me, I start to shut immediately down. That would be somebody who has an overactive throat chakra, by the way. Um, the inability to keep secrets, that's that gossiping piece, okay? We're gonna have some homework on gossiping and secrets and stuff as we integrate into this experience on this chakra. So you'll see some homework coming your way. Not a good energy, secrets, and gossip. So more to come on that in a minute. If this chakra is underactive, you would have difficulty finding your words. Okay, You're, you want to explain yourself, but you can't grab the right vocabulary to get it out. That's somebody who has an underactive throat chakra. Um, fear of speaking, getting up and saying what you want. Um, if somebody and they have you, if you go around the room and they make you introduce yourself and that's a really awkward thing, this would be a underactive throat chakra. Speaking um, with a small voice, I don't know about you, I kind of I call myself a voice snob. If I'm watching the news or I'm listening to a commercial and the voice is off, I might not even know what product they're selling. I'm so busy listening to the voice. So somebody who has a really and kind of you know, talks like this and with her hands up to her mouth, um, an underactive throat chakra, okay. If you are secretive, okay, underactive. If you have excessive shyness and even if you're tone deaf and you have bad rhythm, underactive throat chakra, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, the age that this comes into experience is seven to 12. Its positive archetype is the communicator, that makes sense. And its negative archetype would be the silent child, okay? Um, the demon on this chakra, we've got a demon in every chakra, and can you guess which this one is? It is lies. The opposite of a lie would be to speak the truth. So this chakra is all about speaking your truth and being truthful to yourself and to others. So the demon, of course, would be lies. Lies are not good. It can really do havoc on your body, too. And speaking of your body, this totally affects the throat, the ears, the voice, the neck, tightness in the jaw, um, shoulders, arms, hands, mouth, teeth, gums. I could go on and on and on. Um, this is the physical effects that a um, out of alignment chakra will have physically on our body. So if you have any ailments in those issues, um, it could be your throat chakra. Let's keep going. The element of this chakra is space, the ethers. So we had earth with the root. We had the second chakra, which was water, moving. We had the third chakra, which was the fire center, right, power. And then we had the heart, which was air. This is the ethers. This is why we're moving up into the spiritual world. It's starting to talk about space and our connection and our expression out into the universe. That's how that comes to be. The drive on this chakra is communication. The astrology connection is through Gemini and Virgo. So if you have either of those signs, this would be the chakra connected to your sign. The planet is in Mercury, and I'll ask Sienna to put up some information on that in our group. The sound is hum, H-A-M, hum. Okay, and the crystal connection is turquoise, blue, um, Oh, what is that word? Blue, agate, and aqua marine. I might be saying that wrong. I apologize. So, in every chakra, we've talked about um, the rights, right? The right to speak, the basic right to be loved in the heart chakra, the, the right to act in the third chakra, the right to feel in the second chakra, and the right to be in our physical body. I am in my physical body on the root. This is to speak and to be heard. To speak and to be heard. Okay? Acknowledged, I would like to say. So let's look at our card work for this month. Pull out your card and get ready to do some work. You're just going to love me. I know you already do, but you're going to love me even more. When we're looking at our card work this week, here's some questions I would like you to answer on your card. Um, are you ready? Are you, do you consider yourself to be a good communicator? Do you think you communicate well? That's the first question. Yes or no? 
And then if you communicate well, or you think you're a good communicator, do you think you're a better listener, or do you think you're a better talker? Which one do you think is stronger? And then is it so strong that it overpowers the other one? So just as you're looking at that, that's only one question, by the way. But as you're looking at that, if you know that you're a really good projector and a terrible listener, well, guess what I would ask you to do? I would ask you to do everything you can in your power in the next 30 days or 7 days to balance that out a little bit more, which means focus on the other, right? Okay, good. Let's keep going. Um, in your life, is there one aspect or is there many aspects, or write the one down, that you seem to be a little blocked? So I'd like to say, you know, holding your tongue, swallowing your words, you don't feel a sense of communication or the ability to communicate or express yourself. Maybe you're great at work, but you get home and you're in a relationship and you say nothing. And maybe it's the other way around. So uh, identify for yourself, this is your card work, not mine. I'm just facilitating it for you. Um, identify where you feel you might be kind of choking on your words a little bit. And then could you do some work around that as we do the integration on this month? Okay. So the last one, which I'll really call your homework, is I'm going to ask you to go out to three people total. And you know those ones you keep hitting up? Can you find a couple new people to go out to? I'm looking for two people to describe you that you are really close to. So just ask them, hey, I need three words to describe me, okay? Two people, you know, better for you if they come from different aspects of your life. And then the third person, I want it to be someone who is new in your experience. So let's say you have lunch with somebody and they don't really know you that well, or you've just made a new friend. Could you get a couple words from them to describe you? Okay, so once you do that, you should have, you know, four or five per person Look down, and do they match? Does one person see you one way, the other person sees you completely different? Are they consistently the same? Are they positive, are they negative? I mean, those are things we really need to look at, right? How do you show up in your life? Are you showing up as you intend? Are you being seen the way you want to be seen? I'll tell you a true story or an example of this. Um, leave one of my banks, you know, kind of known as the person who talks, kind of known, kind of labeled, you know, the person who might speak up at the meetings. And, you know, when I'm speaking good words, right, everybody loves to hear positive things. But boy, when things aren't going well, and I'm the one who's speaking up, right? So I switch banks. I end up at, I won't say the name, the name of the bank, you probably know which one it is, but. I end up at another bank and I see this as a great opportunity to peel that label off my forehead and maybe not be the one who speaks up first. If there's a point that I have that I think is, you know, I'm not going to fight everyone else's battle, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I had an overactive throat chakra and I was being deemed and seen in a way in which did not support my intentions. Do you see where I'm going with this? That's what I'm asking you to do. I'm asking you just to look at that for yourself. And what I ended up doing was just really pulling back and being really mindful and like filtering what I was about to say. So it was making sure it was in the right light for myself. So that's just an example. So that's the kind of work I want you to do when we're doing the throat chakra work on your card. And I am so happy that you're part of this experience and that you're joining me in this series. And next month, we will be moving up um, this throat chakra and going to the third eye, which is all about intuition and how we see things and are we focused, are we not focused? Can we imagine what our life would be like? Can we envision it? Um, we'll be clicking into that next month. So, I think I have said all that I wanted to say so with that, I will sign off. I appreciate our time together. Please subscribe, leave a comment below, share the video. We're all out trying to do this work together, and our community is just, well, it just fills my soul. So this is Jeannie Lynch. Thank you so much for your time today, and I appreciate you joining the series. Have an amazing day, and oh yeah.